Good morning all. Um, I thought I would just create a video, I guess as a reminder uh, as to really why the fundamentals are important. And it's what's really interesting is um, looking at when things get extreme in a country, right? And when it comes to the fundamentals, what we're talking about is interest rates, inflation, and GDP. We're not talking about you know news trading and 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 uh, in so far as you know the the, the media uh, sentiment. It's really kind of just uh, eliminating the noise and really kind of looking at the facts. Now, I'm not looking to trade the Russian ruble, nothing of the sort, right? It's just, this is just a video really to help you to understand if you don't already, um, what the central bank's actions, and it, it, I guess this reinforces everything that I say, um, like you don't, you know, you, you don't need that already, but this reinforces everything that I talk about when it comes to understanding what central bankers have to do to the currency to try to influence the currency um, and the currency's valuation, right? So there's a lot of uh, talk. I saw a video recently, a very popular YouTuber. Um, I don't really watch YouTube, uh, other people's YouTube videos that much, but for some reason it popped up on my YouTube feed and I couldn't help myself because he was talking about potential fundamentals and um, um, and this, this popular YouTuber who has hundreds of thousands of followers has absolutely no idea, absolutely no idea. You know, he's, he's basically, you know, long story short, saying that, you know, it's all about the technicals, everything you need to know is in the price chart, which is absolute nonsense. There's no Elliott Wave or, you know, Bollinger Band or Indicator that's going to tell you what's going on with the valuation of a currency. Yeah, it's just, it's just not going to happen. It doesn't happen. I'll debate everybody and anybody on that fact. Um, so central banks, anyway, just sorry to digress, but central bank sanctions halt Russia's ruble intervention, right? So um, really the, the point I'm trying to get to in this is, is, is you have to understand what the central bank has to do, yeah? And um, many of you, obviously, uh, who are in the group will have access to this PDF, yeah? So, um, you know, this is the interest rate and inflation diagram, um, sorry, relationship diagram, and inflation is really devaluation of a currency, yeah? So basically, if inflation is going higher, it means that the currency is being devalued more and more and more. Now, in order to uh, combat inflation, devaluation, central banks have to hike interest rates which is try to appreciate the currency yeah to offset that devaluation so again the higher um inflation goes yeah if inflation goes to four percent let's say for example five percent then this is really where you're looking at interest rates still going higher inflation going higher right so Looking at you know this example from a from an extreme, yeah. So always remember this if you're if you're ever you know in in doubt as to what the central bank has to do um, in the environment uh, or in certain environments when it comes to inflation as well as GDP. Um, definitely remember this. So um, it talks about uh, uh, the Bank of Russia uh, intervening, and intervening uh, can basically just means to try to control the valuation of the currency um, uh, and stability of the currency. Central banks are mandated to uh, to try to, um, you know, maintain a stable currency. That's their mandate, right? Um, they have to do it, whether that is by um, devaluing the currency or in try to, trying to increase the value of the currency, yeah? Um, so let's uh, scroll down a little bit and it talks about here, it says, uh, uh, nowhere was the difference more, more stark than the currency market on Monday, where the ruble plummeted more than 30% against the dollar as the central bank stood pat. Yeah, so uh, the uh, central bank has said its interventions reached over 1 billion during the previous two sessions. So the Russian ruble, yeah, um, literally devalued against the, um, the the dollar. You're seeing uh, the dollar ruble currency pair go higher, but that's basically just an indication because you're looking at the base currency going higher um, and appreciating against the um, the uh, the ruble. Um, in fact, what that is, 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 the, is the ruble actually uh, going uh, uh, devaluing, yeah? It's devaluing, because when you have, if the base currency is going higher, yeah, the base currency is going higher, which is the dollar. Yeah, it means as a pair. Uh, I can't remember what the uh, the 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 um, 
the symbol is for this pair, but it's, I'm sure it's not the R. But anyways, um, the ruble is going down. Yeah, and if the, the, the dollar goes up by 30% against the ruble, it means the ruble's going down by 30%. Yeah, so, um, and in this scenario, you know, that going higher is basically bad, you know, for the, I say bad, but it devalues uh, the ruble, right? So, again, going back to understanding the interest rate and inflation relationship diagram, you're seeing the ruble devalue by 30%, right, in one day, 30%. So again, what do you think the central bank has to do yeah, to interest rates? It has to hike interest rates. So that if that's two, you know, this might have been three, this might be four, this might be, you know, twenty, for example, twenty percent. Right? Whatever the uh whatever the uh interest rate was, now they have to actually now start to uh, try to do something to appreciate and create demand for the currency. Yeah, and again, it's not Leon Rose saying this. It's you know you can't argue with me on on the facts because I'm just reporting what the facts are. So it says here, uh, you know, at stake is the central bank's ability to deliver its own its main sorry mandate to protect the ruble and ensure its stability. Yeah, so that's what it says here. I say checking my browser, um, and it says the legal Bank of Russia legal status and functions, <laughs> right? So according to Article Three of Federal Law, yeah, you know, the goal of the Central Bank of Russia are to protect the ruble and ensure its stability. Again, it's not it's not me, you know, some some random YouTuber saying it. I'm just reporting on the facts, yeah. And it says, you know, with much of his assets now stranded in France, Germany, and the US, the Bank of Russia resorted to a steep interest rate hike. Yeah, interest rate hike, a steep one, because it has to. If you go to, you know, you look at the rules, yeah, to the game, this is what. Uh, this is what influences, you know, the market. Yes, there is sentiment as well, of course, you know, flight to safety, risk off, etc. But you know, it's not technical analysis. It is not technical analysis that is driving the market. No one knows what's going to happen in the short term, right? But technical analysis, market structure, um, indicators, all that nonsense here yeah, is not going to tell you what is happening in the war, right? Central bankers, the smartest guys in the room, the investment bankers, the smartest guys in some of the smartest guys in the world, yeah, are not consulting a price chart to determine what's going to happen in Russia and what they should do with their clients' money, right? <laughs> and how they should run a, run an economy. It's just it just it's just it's just nonsensical. So if you understand what the central bank has to do to influence the value of the currency, then you'll be best placed. Now, again, I just want to reiterate, I'm not trading the the, 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 the dollar ruble um, in any way, shape or form. Um, and I have no idea um, what is gonna you know, happen with the, uh, with the Russian ruble. I'm just letting you know, yeah, from an, ex from an extreme example perspective, yeah, that you can see what the central bank has to do in the face of extreme inflation or you know um, if inflation is rising so for example you could just look at for example the, the US dollar for example or, or central banks around the world that are um, you know uh, have the problem of inflation being above their two percent target a lot of them are looking to potentially hike rates so but again this is just illustrates you know the extreme Russian ruble devaluation and rate hikes yeah steep rate hike yeah um is again a great example of what we understand um you know central banks have to do now again i'm not saying that you know you should buy the russian ruble or anything like that all i'm saying is is that in you know in normal circumstances under normal circumstances when a central bank is looking to hike rates and inflation is you know above their two percent target generally generally and again it depends on what pair you're buying against another pair i say another pair but what currency you're buying against another currency um you know that the currency that is hiking interest rates compared to one that isn't over time should appreciate that is what drives trends in the medium to long term that is what causes um you know currency appreciation versus depreciation not 
not technical analysis and supply and demand zones. Yes, we use those to time our entries, to understand where the bargains are on a, on a price chart, et cetera, et cetera. But as far as predicting where price is gonna go in the medium to long term, technical analysis is, is not the thing that you should uh, look towards um, at all. It's about understanding this stuff. Um, and I say stuff, but you know the, the, the macros and uh, what, what the smartest guys in the room are doing um, and not you know some, uh, some random YouTuber who, who's solely um, focused on um, you know trashing fundamentals and uh, you know uh, uh, telling you that the, the simple the simplest way and the easiest way to, uh, to, to predict prices through uh, is through price and uh, indicators and uh, market structure anyways. Um, guys, take it easy. Hope that helps and um, I'll speak to you all in the room.